Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome back to another Linux review. I honestly did not think I was going to get this one done today. I've been so angry with it. This is Zenwalk Linux, and Zenwalk Linux is based on Slackware, thus the Slackware cap. Threw it on there so that I could show the swag that I purchased from Slackware many years ago and this being a Slackware based distribution. Zenwalk was an interesting distro. I had to actually review some of my Slackware reviews from a long time ago, from about a year or so, uh, just to remind myself how I got things to work. It is a little bit more advanced for some users and even to the point where I almost don't even care to use it myself. Um, it's one of those things where you gotta do so much stuff manually but you get so little gratification when you're done because it's just such a hassle to find packages that you need. The repositories, in my opinion, are very lacking. The software is very limited. However, I still have to say it's still better than Red Hat or any Red Hat distribution I've ever had to deal with. Uh, Zenwalk is nothing close to what I would consider to be a Zenwalk for the frustrations I have felt today just getting sound to work getting my GUVC video to work again um, has been appalling to me uh, that being said in the hands of a slackware enthusiast this would probably be a very good distribution for you and would work quite well I had many problems but that is not because the system is lacking it is because the user is an experience when it comes to Slackware. Uh, that being said, Zenwalk comes with some basic features. As you will see, this is XFCE. It is a lightweight distribution. It's really meant for you to be able to put on whatever you want to do and go forward. It has very limited information, as you can see through some of the files that are here. Uh, it did come, of course, with GIMP and LibreOffice. did come with Firefox, but I installed Chromium. That has become a favorite of mine, and I have liked that. Um, Internet worked fine. No problems installing the system. That went very smoothly. No issues with partitions and multiple partitions, etc., etc. If I seem like I'm going fast, it's because I just want to get this review done. I apologize for the speed. I have been messing around with this now for nearly three hours it worked great at the beginning of the week I'm not sure what went wrong but somewhere between them working with it and playing with it sound was always working but recording stopped I could not get sound record at all and then when I tried out my GUVC viewer which worked at the beginning of the week suddenly I was getting all kinds of errors with that as well which I had to resolve it took me a couple hours I even went back to my other system I was going to just throw it into a uh, virtual box and try to do that but I've got some problems with my current virtual box so that wasn't working so I came back to this actually figured out the issues resolved them got them running nothing really worth sharing just stupid stuff that was causing me problems one of the biggest problems I do have with this type of a distribution is I had to install G slapped and sorcery slack build manager I do not like to have to mix and match bin packages with compiling source code it can cause problems I'm afraid maybe that might have been some of my issues with Zenwalk but that is one nice thing about Slackware and Slackware derivatives you can make it as nice as you like or as simple as you like and you just pick and choose what you want to put on there Zenwalk Linux can easily be found. Well, actually, it wasn't really easy to find. It was on the distro watch. However, when I went to Zenwalk's web page, there is no real good clue to get to Zenwalk. If we were to open up, for instance, the web browser here, and for some reason when I open up this, it constantly wants to do that. But if we look up Zenwalk in the browser, and we go to the main page zenwalk.org you will see it kind of brings up a wiki of sorts now 
there is no download option in here there is no get zenwalk and all of the distro watch stuff for zenwalk if I go through to here good thing it's at Z because it makes it easy to find zenwalk if we go to zenwalk and we come down here and we try to get the ISO for instance it's gonna blow up and if we try to go to right above here where it talks about the download mirrors the download mirrors are no good so it did take me a little bit of time to find within zenwalk.org going through the announcements I finally found a place where I could download now this is a 64-bit version of zenwalk I don't know if because it's in beta and they're still doing a lot of testing that there are issues I'm not sure about that. All I know is it was not an easy task to find it. Once I did find it, I put it on a USB stick where I was easily able to install it. No issues with that. Just getting to the ISO was an issue though. The packages were hit and miss and I was able to get things done but I had to remind myself many times how to go about within Slackware to get those sort of things done. That being said, like I have said in the past, if you are a Slackware enthusiast, this might be one to play with if you're looking for a lightweight version of Slackware. If you're not familiar with Slackware, you don't know really how to use it that well, I would stay away from it. Slackware is a little bit more intimidating to the entry-level Linux user. I was able to at least get it running, and I like that. I do not like having to put things in virtual box to give reviews. I only do that as an absolute last resort, which I thought in this case I was going to have to do. Luckily not. So that in a nutshell is Zenwalk. Like I said, it's super quick, super fast. I just want to get her done. I am planning to go camping this weekend, so I'm trying to get myself ready for that. And I wanted to make sure that I got you a Linux review on time and uploaded before that all happened. Getting really close to finishing my 52 Linux reviews in 52 weeks. I didn't want to have to screw up this close to doing it. I think I have five or six more to do and we will be complete. And then I'll be thinking about doing some things such as more source-based distro reviews like Lunar Linux. Uh, some more videos on Linux from scratch. In fact, I was thinking, I've got right around 700 subscribers right now. If you're still watching, if I can get myself up to 1,000 subscribers, I will do a Linux from scratch tutorial how to install it, and I will throw it into a virtual box if I can get my virtual box software working. Mm -hmm. ah, that's a real headache in itself. And if I get 1,000 subscribers, that's 300 more, I will go ahead and do a Linux from scratch tutorial, as I said, showing from the point of chapter one, section one, all the way to the end of 300 and something pages. Whatever it takes us, we'll do it, and we'll get it done just like I did with the Gen 2. And by the end of it, you will have seen a successfully recorded Linux from scratch setup. I'll probably cut out, of course, all the compiling times in between but you'll have something. That is, when and if I get to a 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> so anyway, if it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope it's a good one. I hope uh, if you like Slackware, I didn't offend you. But what I said about Slackware, it is what it is, in my opinion. These are first impressions, after all. And, you know, I think sometimes the first impression is worth much more than your third or fourth after you learned it, because... It, it's it's like that awe that you feel the very first time that you see something and after you've seen it once it's not there anymore it's just oh yeah I remember that so have a good day enjoy try it out if you like and uh, we'll talk to you later bye